Okay, we're live in five, four, three. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One, too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport. But it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. OK, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? Hey boss, I think we could better manage our time by organising some team activities. Head to the activity screen to see what we have available. This is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they're having on the business. 
you can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent, and that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximise the team's performance. Hey boss, this is Jeff. Just wanted to say thanks for trusting me as your race engineer. I won't let you down. The car is ready to go, but it's brand new of course, so there may be a few issues here and there. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the data. Right, try to nail as many corner gates as you can. The faster you get through each corner, the higher the score. Press in the DRS zone as well. Zone is coming up. Get ready to open it. Distance is on your MFD.
Turkey seem to have a solid handle on the lap. Let's try and perfect each turn. Remember that chaining good corners together will give you a consistency bonus. Okay, take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, Bottas and Max Verstappen. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Appreciate your time. It's finally time once again to begin what promises to be another thrilling season of Formula One action. Pre-season time, subject of so much discussion in recent weeks, mean nothing now, as the cars line up to battle it out for points once again. So let's get this season underway. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable, and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. 
Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive constructors title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are, first ever race looking surprisingly strong. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Johnson, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo, Albon, Perez, Norris, and Carlos Sainz, Hamilton, Kvyat, Esteban Ocon, and Stroll, Magnussen, Correa, Kimi Raikkonen, and Roman Grosjean. Russell, Giovinazzi, Latifi, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And now it's time to head down to the track. Decent start, good job.
will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. teammate by 12.8 seconds. Not falling away soon. Get some heat into those tires. Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. A great race then and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The owner-driver's team moved to the top of the table. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled.
appreciate your time. As we continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab.